Hello guys, welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles and another episode of Hanks TV. Today is September the 11th, that's uh, 2017, 9-11. I've been working in the shop today and I've got a couple of gun barrels fixed for some fellas that sent me these barrels for the Thompson Center Encore that they had turned into smokeless muzzle loaders a few years ago. There's a lot of these out there. This guy that's building these has built quite a few of these guns. And the problem with this one, the guys were having, is it just won't seal. It's the same breech plugs. We've talked about these before in some previous videos. And it's a breech plug, and it's got some type of a nipple made and screwed in there. And they're using 3030 cartridge cases. And they just slide that 3030 case up on this nipple, close the action, and they fire the gun. But it leaks really, really bad. It blows the cartridges apart. Um, I've got some cartridge cases that the guys sent me that are just cracked and split, headspace separation, and all kinds of problems. Well, they wanted me to fix these, and they, they wanted the HIS system, the HIS ignition system with the brass primer modules. But the problem with these conversions is there's no groove in the block. The problem with these conversions is there's no groove in the block to slide an extractor through it. So whoever made these, whenever they were making them, I don't know if they made these blocks, the hinge block that's welded to the barrel. I don't know if they made them, if they had them machined somewhere or what, but they didn't machine that groove that goes down the center of this block to slide the extractor in. So we couldn't use the his ignition system or else you'd have to use a screwdriver or something to pry out your spent primer modules and they didn't want to do that because they've already been doing that with the system that they were using so they have to use a tool a little screwdriver to pry out the modules they get stuck they pop out they fly all over the place and they're losing them so we talked about it and they decided to go with the direct ignition system and some of you guys are aware of what the direct ignition system is and it's a breech plug with a screw-in module. Yep, you still have to have a tool to take the module out, but you have control over it. You can unscrew it all the way with the wrench, or you can unscrew it and pull it out the rest of the way with your fingers. Now, what most guys are doing is they're getting a little nut driver. It's a 5 16 nut driver, 12-point, and they're putting a magnet inside the socket, and that will hold this steel bolt in the socket. Now this socket here does not have a magnet in it, but if you wanted to set it up that way, it's very easy. You just get a rare earth magnet, grind it to fit, put it down in there with some epoxy, and you can put your modules in, take them out, they'll stay stuck to your screwdriver. It's a very effective system. The breech plug does not have a tungsten bushing in it, so there's no tungsten bushing or a liner in there to ever burn out or replace. Um, a lot of guys are starting to go towards this route right here with the direct ignition system. It's a little bit slower at reloading, but we're shooting muzzle loaders anyway, guys, so you really shouldn't need a whole lot of reloads. You know, it's a one-shot opportunity usually, and that's about all you get. So if it takes you very long for your second reload, it doesn't really matter because you should have done made that shot count. But what I'm going to do is... I'll show you the breech plugs that came out of these guns and for any of you guys out there that have guns built using this style breech plug, I'm going to stand right in front of the camera here so it'll focus on the breech plugs hopefully. If any of you guys have guns built using this breech plug using a 3030 cartridge case that slides up over the plug, we can fix that here at Hankins Rifles if you want to. If you've got some encores a lot of these encores were built using 209 for each plugs without the extractor groove to pop the 209 out and you use a tool to pop that out there's absolutely nothing wrong with that using a tool to pop it out i'm not trying to criticize or say anything bad about them but if you just want to try something different or if you want to just step up your power your performance your reliability you could go with this direct ignition system. Um, that's pretty much about all I need to tell you guys on this. I just wanted to inform the guys out there that has Thompson Center Encore conversions that there are some alternatives to fix a few of the problems 
that some of these older conversions have been plagued with. People's been doing these conversions probably for 10 or 15 years, and when they first started out, they didn't have all the answers, and I don't know that we've got all the answers as of today because we still keep finding better solutions, but right now, this screw-in module, the DIS ignition system, is far superior to any 209 primer system that you might have in these guns or the old 3030 cartridge case head that slides in there and, and blows up on you and leaks and creates a big headache for you guys. If you want it converted, give me a call at Hankins Custom Rifles. We'll talk about it, figure out what you've got, whether or not we can convert them or not. It depends on what breech plug is actually in this gun, but most of them I've got plugs to replace with. So give me a call, guys, if you need one of these things fixed, and I'll try to get you back in business. We didn't want to throw these barrels away because they are Krieger rifle barrels. They're very expensive rifle barrels. They shoot really, really good. The accuracy is there. The accuracy is good with these gun barrels. The problem was the weak link right here in the ignition system. So don't throw your good Krieger barrels away. Send them to me. I'll convert them back over to something that's more reliable and it'll take care of your problems. Until next, guy, next time, guys. Thumbs up on the videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, visit Hank's message board for more information about these smokeless muzzle loaders, and we'll see you next time.